Hey BBs, it's Plastic, and today I'm back with y'all for another video. Today we have the one, the only, Bratz Girls Night Out. Dana, oh my god, I'm so beyond excited. I love the Girls Night Out collection. I've been having so much fun with my Jade over there. I am um, just very excited. Again, pre-orders, mess, launch, but I got Dana. So happy and grateful that my order, you know, went through and everything, and it wasn't like some sort of weird listing. But, um, very exciting doll. My Amazon package came fucking crushed, though. I suspect that this was Megan's doing, because Megan stole her third outfit, wore it better, and then she never got it back for her reproduction. So, um, there's definitely some tension between the Amazon worker and my fucking Dana, but that's okay. The only issue with her, because of this, is because she has a little mini lip chip kind of thing. Um... But it's not too noticeable, and I'll obviously show better close-ups and face-ups when I get there. If I do really, you know, have an issue with the lip chip, I'll just, you know, buy a new one and return this one. Because for $40, I feel like it's a little bit of an issue, but I'm not really, like, pressed about it. Like, I don't really care. Um, that's only if, like, I actually get annoyed by it out of the box. But right now, it's chilling. Um, but again, we have the same kind of 20th anniversary Bratz Girls and Out box that Jade had. Um, it has a little picture of Dana, the Girls and Out um, kind of logo, the Bratz logo. Um, Dana's name, so you know who you're getting. There is the 21 anniversary sticker. It's not really a, um, like you can tell, it's not like printed on them. It's just a sticker. In the box, we have two hot outfits instead of three. Um, her semi formal fever, I guess. We also have, for the first time ever, now with real eyelashes and body glitter. Real eyelashes. I love that commercial has been playing through my brain for the last couple days. Real eyelashes. Yeah, they ate. It also says girls I don't on the top. But again, it is just the trapezoid box, the Bratz box. Um, her barcode though, let's show that. Here is Dana's barcode. If we are still hunting for her, I know hopefully she won't be too hard to hunt for in the coming weeks and that everything goes well. Um, the back of her box, I'm just gonna take this plastic off. This plastic is rowdy though. I don't even think I need scissors for it. Like, the tape is... Actually, no, I think this side. This side, the tape was gone. Like, see how... Y'all, Amazon did me fucking dirty. But, whatever. Oh, there's also a handle. I don't think I even pointed that out. There's a little handle here. It's cute. I don't know. It's like a good reproduction. Ooh, that shit. So, the back... Oh, my God. I'm, so upset. I'm kind of upset that this kind of happened. Because I like to keep the artwork. Maybe I can just, like, you know, make it better. But she looks so pretty on the back. There is, obviously, Dana in the... Um, other girls from the um, line. I think these are the ones wearing the wrong. Yeah, these are the ones that are wearing the outfits that we don't get. We don't get. So a little bit disappointing. But they did fix Sasha's skin tone. Yasmin though is still pale for some reason. Um, that is not what Yasmin looks like in the slightest. Um, kind of disappointing that they cannot seem to fix any of these. I mean, they fix Sasha, but like, can we fix all of them? Why are we still whitewashing in the year 2022? But, um, I guess since I have the card, we can kind of take a better look at her kind of accessory card. Dana's face up. She's so pretty. Even with that lip chip. I don't care. Um, we, again, do only get one outfit rather than two. So, the al one outfit that we get is kind of taking up more space than the other ones would. And then, also, I got questions if, I, if there's a poster. There is no poster this time. I don't know if there's a poster on the original launch, but... There's nothing back there, but I'm going to get this girl truly free, and we will, you know, see what else is happening. Tonight's the night we've been talking about. Tonight's the night, because Dan is out of the box. I'm so excited. All right, getting the boring things out of the way. We have her little star comb, whatever. Trash. Um, we also have her little shoes that aren't going to match the skin color of the old brats, so these are kind of pointless, but they're cute nonetheless. Um... Whatever. And then we also have the little um, accessory card. Really fierce. I cannot wait to glam her up. But these little butterfly clips, I'm so happy they included those. Even though we are getting less accessories this go around, I am, again, happy nonetheless. We, um, I'm just excited about these. These are all fun to use and play with. I've been playing with my Jade's ones forever. We also have her second outfit. Um, these will be modeled on her later. But then moving into the actual dolly, I am... Let's move her closer. I am so beyond excited. Okay, she has this really gorgeous, gigantic hair. Like, mama, I had to move the camera up for this. 
This hair is crazy. It's gorgeous. It's Dana. I have been, okay, these bang things have been inspiring, inspiring me for like the last year. Ever since I got into Bratz and I saw this doll, I've always been so memorized or mesmerized, mesmerized by her, this hairstyle. Like it's so beyond detailed. It's a ponytail. There's some twists in it. She has like a double bang come through and then these little like tendrils. <gasps> It's so elegant. I want to say that this hair is definitely nylon. I don't think it's Saran. Um, it is really soft, though. And honestly, I think it's, like, I don't, not better than Saran. Um, because I would prefer um, Saran on Bratzel. I think the hair, it, it's a finer hair fiber. And it makes them um, less poofy. But honestly, because I feel like the reason why I have this hair is bigger than the normal, um, the OG style. Is, I, it could very well just be because it is a reproduction from, and it was 20 years, whatever ago. It was a while ago since I actually did the hairstyle on it all. So, obviously, times have changed, and, you know, they probably don't do it the same or whatever. But, um, nylon hair is usually, um, a thicker, finer material, not finer, um, a thicker material than a saran is. And it's less human-like, so, I don't, I don't think this actually is the reason I'm just hype, like, um, theorizing but it could be why it's bigger but um again i do prefer saran on brats just because the hair is finer and it fits their little heads better but i prefer it on omgs and Roomba high because they have a bigger head and saran would just be very horrifying on them but i don't know um it could very well be saran and i'm just crazy but it feels like a nylon um but maybe if i wash it out it'll change i have no idea guys i'm not the best at hair i just i know a little bit but i'm not like the best at differentiating them if like you tell me it's saran or if i'm like feeling a brats doll like oh yeah that's definitely it feels like saran and if i'm feeling an omg doll like i know that's saran but this is just it's so confusing to me and i don't know why maybe it's because a lot of my older brats dolls just either despite having washed and boil washes it's not like a mate i don't know but it is still really pretty. It's soft nonetheless. It's long. I got it, it's probably really long after the hairstyle, but it's pretty. Again, obviously the random loose ends, whatever. I've been rambling for too long. Her face is so beyond pretty. The lip chip isn't even like it's not too noticeable, so I'm not even like bothered anymore. But I am still upset that my girl was crushed. I know it was Megan. I know that bitch was in the Amazon warehouse tearing shit up. But nonetheless, this is an amazing hair, uh, amazing face. Egg. I, again, they're not using that, like, shiny material. It is obviously shiny, but that's how kind of any face-up is. This is a different kind of, um, like, screening method that they're reusing or using. I don't know how, what they did before. Or, I think they used to use spray. I don't know if this is full-on spray, but, um, none of the rock... Okay, knock on wood, but none of the Girls Night Out dolls that I've seen from, like, fans or the stock pictures have had any wonk. Um, so maybe, um, they're just doing better. I hope this is... They just continue to use this from every single collector doll because this is the really bare minimum. This doll have wonky, um, crazy, shiny faces, but it does look amazing. Her eyelashes aren't even, like, poking out weirdly. Her eyelashes are perfect on this variation. Again, every doll is different, so your eyelashes might be fucking downsides. My jades had weird little bits that were going into the hair and whatever, but the face is gorgeous. She is, you know, rocking this dark lip, her purple I is I guess she does she usually have purple eyes? Um, I can't tell. My Danas are all fucking buried. I'm more of a Megan Stan TBH, but again, purple eyes, really gorgeous little purple eyeshadow, and then there's it's kind of like a cut crease thing. Um, she is also wearing these earrings. They are red out of the box. Again, this red kind of choker. It's also sporting this little like body glitter. Um, it was weird. They didn't do body glitter all around the arm, and it's only on, like, this part, which is a little bit weird. I wonder if that's on my other one. Yeah, yeah, it is. Maybe that's just how they do it. Is my jade like that? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, my jade is like that. So, they, I guess, only put spray butter on, like, the outer, and then the inner is just kind of the same matte. But this is the new skin tone for the reproduction, and I guess just the new Bratz crew overall. It is more orange and warm tone. So this is an OG Wild Wild, Wild, Wild West Dana, and you can see the skin tone difference in the OG dolls is much more paler, while the new dolls are more orangey, um, pinky kind of, which kind of disappoints me because that means we cannot use the new shoes on the old bodies, and they, the, you know, shoes are very important to Bratz as they don't have any feet. So I really wish I would be able to use them, them more on the older dolls, but you know, it's okay. We'll take what we can get. At least the faces aren't fucking disgusting. Dana is also wearing this black dress with some butterflies. I have heard that this is a, um, there's also some printing on the back, which is very interesting. I have heard that there is a, um, some differences from the OG dress is these, um, colors on the butterflies are much darker, I think, in color. 
but um again i wouldn't really notice it's really cool it's kind of asymmetrical lots of mesh layers it's you know a standard girls land out piece she's also comes with this little bag it's like a baby pink with some like butterflies and flowers on it really gorgeous no printing on the back though which is fine it's fabric it's not plastic which you know always a win but again it is a reproduction so this is obviously hopefully true to it then she is wearing these kind of more navy blue heels um, really stunning. I am so excited. I'm gonna real quick put her in the second outfit and we'll be back. Before I threw Dana's Gorgianka little jacket on her, I wanted to show this stunning little butterfly top that she comes with as her second outfit. Um, I, the only qualm I have about it is this stupid mesh piece that they kind of have. Um, I probably that is intended, but it is very thin. I am horrified of that breaking down the road, but nonetheless, it is fierce. Um, also can see her little butterfly clips they're so cute i kind of decorated her hair a bit i'm gonna real quick be back with her um oh my god i just realized she's a butterfly theme i'm an idiot whoa okay i'll be back with the other jacket on all back and dressed up dana is wearing lots and lots of little accessories these butterfly clips though are the prettiest they're like there's a purple one and there's like a light pale pink one the pale pink is the same kind of color used for her earrings um and then moving down to her other kind of bracelet or her barrettes like also butterflies they're the same red color that we saw for the earrings and then this one is a pink one so beyond pretty these glasses though are really silly as they are tiny for her but they are again a very pink color these are so beyond stunning. They're probably cuter just for like a head access, but like just shoving on your head. But um, my girl, my beach girls are gonna love these little sunglasses. She's also wearing some basic Bratz hoops. They are in the pale. Oh my god, they are in the pale kind of matte pink that we are seeing with the other DNA accessories. This jacket though is so beyond gorgeous. It just kind of a de okay. It was kind of a pain in the ass to put on because like her thumbs aren't like removable. Um, that was annoying, but like besides that, really fine. It's a nice quality jean jacket. It feels it's like real denim and everything. There's buttons on it on the side, pink glitter on the um, cuffs and collar. It is okay. Also, the glitter is not sealed. Um, there is hot glue all over my body. Oh, this little clips though, they're not like glued in and they fall out very, very easily. Like the butterflies. Um, I saw so I put hot glue in them, so not hot glue, but like super glue. So. Um, hopefully they don't fall apart, but, um, I did let them dry before putting in her hair. I obviously am not an idiot, but, um, really gorgeous. And then I showed the butterfly top. It's really pretty, but these jeans, so gorgeous. They are like, kind of like a bell bottom moment. It's a darker denim. There's rhinestones and there's this little denim piece that's like come cut off, but like, whoa, it's gorge. Um, denim little, or diamond littles at the bottom of the cuffs. The diamonds kind of end along the back there's nothing really on the back no pockets anything but i mean doesn't really matter and this is the second pair of shoes mold i love this mold and the pink is so gorgeous but again with the new um kind of skin tone that we're seeing i'm sorry i'm taking dana's feet off in the back um these aren't going to be the exact same skin tone hello why is she not focusing these aren't going to be the exact same skin tone as the og one sadly so it looks really funny um off but I can get away with, um, you know, if you are wanting to use these, try putting on like a darker or, you know, a longer pair of pants. So it kind of, because I think if you put these shoes on, despite them being, you know, they are more um, pink toned. They so I know this isn't Dana's, um, this isn't Jade Reviews, but these are kind of the same issue where these are Jade's, ooh, she died. These are Jade's second pair of shoes and they don't really fit with the skin tone, but I think putting pants on them, you know, it's not too clockable or anything in my opinion. So again, if you do want to use these shoes or you need to use these shoes, um, you can't really do any mini skirts or like maybe if you do like a little like, um, what's it called, leg warmer, that could be cute or a sock or something. I don't know, but it is unfortunate that they cannot get the skin, to skin tone right because I feel like MGA being the billion dollar company that they are, I think it's billion or million, at least million. I don't really know their statistics or whatever, but having the money that they have and the access to materials, I wish they could just get the skin tone right. That's my only issue. Like, the, the faces are perfect. Again, wish I kind of used saran hair, but I'm not going to be crazy about that because it doesn't really matter at the end. It's better than probably propylene. Um, so, you know what? I'll take what I can get at this point. I just wish they could fucking match the skin tone. I feel like it's... Is it that hard? Is it really that hard to match the skin tone? Like, I I get it was... It's been, like, 20 years and whatever, but, like, it shouldn't be an issue. Like, Monster High got the skin tones right on their reproductions over there, and they're 
fine. I don't know. But that's my only issue with the doll is the skin tone. Um, and I wish mine wasn't came in a crush box because her lip chip isn't really that noticeable, but it is a little bit noticeable for the amount of money. Um, I am not too annoyed or anything about the missing accessories or the missing outfit. Oh, I never showed you guys. Secret Date Megan. This is the other outfit that Dana would have come with if she came with all three outfits. Just this kind of denim skirt thing, which is so cute. I wish we had a reproduction of it. Like, I'm, you know, I'm, I would rather have better faces and stuff, but, like, this is cute. But Megan stole all of her outfit, or this is Chloe's jacket, but she stole her outfit and tried to kill her at the Amazon warehouse. I don't know. Seems a little bit fishy, but, ugh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get the secret date outfits again sometime in the, down the future. But Dana is in my collection for my Girls' Night Out. I honestly kind of like the Secret Date dolls. I know they are reusing the same outfits that Girls' Night Out have, but they have a very similar vibe. So Dana, so Megan's just going to be in the back, chilling with the girls. But with that, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinion about Dana in the comment section below. I am obsessed with her. Would you guys have rather the... See, B Megan is always on the loose. She tried to kill Dana. She needs to get a hold of herself. Oh my god. But, okay. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Would you rather have the more screening and accessories um, with a higher price tag or with worse screenings with the same price tags? Let me know. I guess that was kind of a weird way to phrase that, but, like, I don't know. Like, would you rather have the all of the accessories and outfits with the updated screening or, the like, the OG kind of screenings for a more expensive price or, like, the same outfit and stuff with the worst screening like rock angels kind of printing for the same price i don't know i thought that's a kind of fun question to ask everyone but um you know let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below um thank you guys again so much for watching me cannot wait to catch you guys in the next one bye